Weimaraners are German, they tell it like it is. They can be headstrong, every dog can be headstrong, and Weimaraners are so quick thinking and intelligent and brave that they can be headstrong, but if they're trained properly, with respect, they will give you the respect back. The Weimaraner is a gun dog. It belongs to the HPR group, which is Hunt Point Retrieve. So you're looking at a working dog of a fair size as well. They have that distinct colour. Their, their unique appearance is very, very attractive. And sometimes they will have amber eyes as well, which makes them even more so. People don't realise how intuitive they are. They're very intuitive. And people do ring me up constantly and say, this dog does everything but speak. It is human. It's going to be an athletic dog. So as an adult, you need to make sure that you're giving it sufficient physical exercise as well. Biomaranas are big, lively dogs. They're a beautiful colour and they have really high exercise levels. If we got one in, we would certainly look to rehome it with a very active family who had the time and energy to keep up with them because you would need to be very active. They are a very athletic dog and they do run. So they will exercise themselves. So if you go out for an hour with your Vimerana and, and it's in an environment where it can be let off the lead, it's going to run, it's going to hunt, its natural instinct's going to come out. So it's not just going to potter at the side of you, it is going to run and it is going to exercise itself. So probably I would think, you know, three good walks in a day, but as much exercise as you give it, it will take. It will never wear out. Vimeranas are a breed that has to hunt, find game, wild boar included, so they have to be protective of their owner, they have to be in quick thinking, intelligent, and so they don't suffer fools. And so you have to have an owner who is aware of the breed and its characteristics, and knowing that from day one, through kindness, all the rules are learnt. From a training point of view, the biggest thing you get with gun dogs is they pick things up and you don't want them to pick things up, you've got to train them to bring them to you and do swapses. If you snatch things from a gun dog, then you may, may well teach them how to guard. So you don't want a gun dog guarding and growling at you, you want them bringing it to you, going, look what I've got, look what I've got. And then you say, thank you very much, have that instead. When you get your puppy, you start as you mean to go on. So from day one, if you don't want it to jump up, you don't let it jump up. You hold it down, tell it it's good for holding it down, while you're holding it down, and therefore the puppy learns immediately that you'll get more attention by not jumping up than by jumping up. So just don't start things that you don't want to continue. They were known as being a little bit sharp in temperament, but that has improved over the years, and nowadays many Vimeranas live as happy members of a family, but you do need a strong, firm hand if you're to bring them up correctly. Vimeranas come in short hair and long hair. The long hair is not a terrifically long haired dog, probably two inches coat all over. Today I've just brought short haired Vimeranas with me. Grooming, you would probably use a rubber glove, a rubber curry comb, something like that. It's more the stimulation of the oils in the coat. The coat is short, so it doesn't knot. With the long-haired Vimerana, you perhaps would need a comb because obviously that could knot up. Vimerana is quite a healthy breed. We do health tests, hip scoring, to make sure that the hips are, are, are good when we breed from the dogs. They mostly suffer generally a cuts because they have the fine hair. So they would suffer cuts going into thick undergrowth and bracken and things. There is an issue with gastric torsion bloat, but that's in a lot of dogs. It's not peculiar to Vimeranas. But because Vimeranas put everything into everything they do, they would eat a meal and go and gallop for two hours if you ask them to. So with a Vimerana, one would expect not to exercise heavily before or after a meal and always feed twice a day, even in adults. And if it's overweight, just decrease the amount you give them in the each feed, but do feed twice a day. And then it's cutting the risks down tremendously. Vimeranas are for me, definitely.